Hello students, we will discuss a very, another common perianal condition which we common surgeons commonly come across. That is what this condition is. Have a look and see. See that this is the anal canal. You can see a very well localized uh, swelling of short duration. Let's say recently swelling has maybe a few days, maybe six, seven days. Swelling appeared painful, it is and tender. Earlier nothing was there. That is the usual typical history. So what this condition is? It is perianal hematoma. Very common condition. Remember, small venules in the subcutaneous, in the under the skin, gets uh, ruptured and from the clot there. Probably it gets ruptured while uh, during stepification. Uh, skin stretches at that time, maybe venule ruptures. Sometimes uh, pre-existing sentinel pile uh, clot occurs within that, or external pile pre-existing tag, skin tags clot occurs within that and forms a perianal hepatoma. Per se, de novo can occur, or existing external skin tag or external pile or sentinel pile can cause perianal hematoma. De novo is quite common, remember. They come with that, they think these are piles, so they'll say I've got piles of recent ones, but when you examine, not exactly piles, this is one, but you have to do rectal examination to find out no other pathology inside. Also, proctoscopy to find out there are no internal piles. It's maybe separate entity, there may be internal piles in different place, which is not related to this. That also possible. So you should do PR, rectal examination, you should do uh, protoscopy in this patient. Sometimes it may be painful, of course. It is not as painful as a fissure in the other, remember. So it is perianal hematoma, what are the features? Swelling in the perianal region, short duration, painful, tender, smooth, softer form, well localized, I've already told, well localized. It is due to bleeding under the skin by small venous tear underneath the skin or in the external pile or skin tag, already told. So how it is treated, treated by sitz bath, patient sits in a warm water bath, maybe you can add some antiseptic solution for 15 minutes. Then uh, it reduces the edema, then you apply some local application you can use. And then of course anti-inflammatory drugs, but many times it requires a evacuation of the clot, usually under give a local anesthesia in this area, in this area, then make a small incision, clot comes out. May need to remove skin tag sometimes, the skin tag if it is there should be removed. And so what is must to rule out internal conditions, so I already told PR, and proctoscopy is a must in this patient. It may later form abscess. Sometimes it is, may get infected from a perianal abscess. They will thin, they will have a tenderness, severe tenderness, red, uh, color, uh, redness, and uh, fever, and so on. So this is a complication. So PR and proctoscopy is a must in, uh, in perianal hematoma. Incision and removing the clot. Small tag if it is there, excise it. There is a treatment. So read my clinical methods in surgery for all clinical exams with the videos. Read my manual for detailed explanation about all topics, surgery with the MCQs, with the uh, case scenarios, need my operative surgery, everything, all procedures. In detail is given with the illustration and photos. Tissue approximation with the suturing technique how to do with the video backup. My DigiNow lectures, uh, very popular and covers everything. A large topic lectures including specialities, operative surgery, x-rays, instrument specimens and uh, through JP publishers and covers all lectures. Please subscribe for a year. It will give you a very good knowledge and you can face the exam. Very well useful for PGs also. So students, I hope you understood uh, uh, this lecture, period and hematoma very well. Thank you very much.